Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm actually going to be doing a review for Willa of the Wood by Robert Beatty. I have been definitely waiting for this book ever since I went to his tour stop, which was last year I think, and he actually announced that he was releasing a new book. Um, that had nothing to do with Serafina and it was just something else so I've been waiting for this book to come out and I once I heard that it was out I just ran for it and got it because I definitely think that Robert Beatty is a really great author um, and he seems like a really great person in general with a great inspiration for reading especially where he lives um, I think it's North Carolina um, where there's just so much inspiration for writing definitely for writing scenes and like places to live and stuff like that I mean that's crazy how he gets all this like landscape and he can just come up with stories <laughs> I wish I could do that but I literally just live in a city so that's not gonna work out <laughs> um, but anyway I'm sorry if my voice kind kind of seems rough I just woke up and I haven't really been feeling all that well this morning and if there's other noises going on, I'm sorry as well. But anyway, this book is definitely different. Um, it gave me a lot of Pocahontas vibes. It was definitely sort of in that way and then had its own take on it. Because um, it kept he kept on putting in the book that... Um, about the two travelers who were trying to decide whether the earth was round or, you know, discussing the different ways of the world, which kind of made me think of Pocahontas and how she met the two travelers and put that into the book, but that wasn't the main focus of it. Willa is in this clan in, I think it was the Great, Great Smoky Mountains is where it takes place. Um, so her clan lives in the caves of this mountain I think it is and um or in a different but she lives in like this clan lives in the caves and she's taking she's supposed to be this thief um they call them jaders there's a lot of vocab in this book that I had trouble pronouncing but um so I'm just gonna use not the words in here but what I think they are so basically um, another word for that is thieves and basically their clan is made of these thieves that go out and steal the um, the rich stuff from like all the different uh, humans that are around they call them day folk um, sorry if I, I had a long pause for that I totally didn't couldn't think of a word for it um, but basically they go out and steal the goods of all these humans and bring them back to the clan and they try to do they try to make with what they can with them um, they're trying to adapt with the humans trying to think of ways to survive and keep their clan going but while she thinks that this is for the good of their clan, it's actually for a different reason. So we learn through the book of that different reason and she decides to make an adventure for, for going out and stealing from a cabin of a man and his dog all on her own. She's supposed to stay in a group, they're supposed to stay in a group, they're always supposed to, you know, stay together in the clan and stuff, but she decides to go out and do this on her own because she hasn't been making her leader that happy with what she's been bringing back to the clan recently. So she decides to go out and steal from this man and his dog in a cabin not too far away from her home and she's like I'm gonna do this I'm gonna steal it I'm gonna bring it back and you know she had this whole plan but then as she's there things go wrong and then she almost dies and she has to get back home and then that's when all the um, <laughs> all the story starts happening I'm trying not to give too many spoilers because I know this is a very new book so I don't want people to not read it if they don't like what I'm saying <laughs> um, but it is definitely a thriller it's got some sad parts in it which I 
I'm really... Uh, the books that I've been reading recently have a lot of sad parts in them, which all seem to be the same sad parts in every book, so I'm starting to not like it how these sad parts just keep coming in. But otherwise, I really enjoyed the plot and the storyline of it. The characters were alright. I say that she's probably my favorite, um, but otherwise the characters were alright. It's basically um, this whole story about, like her living on her own and the only family that she has gets taken away from her and then she has to um, go throughout the forest and live with her family which is her um, gift of being able to speak with the animals and the nature of the forest which is why you know, this kind of goes along with the story, <laughs> um, with the cover and everything of the book. And, you know, it's a great story, it's different, and I really enjoyed how how much was packed into it for, um, like, the details. Like, he definitely details exactly to the point that you really think that you're there, including, like I said, the animals and the nature of it. He really digs deep into the meat of it, and that's because he knows what it looks like. So I feel like that's a big part of Robert Beatty, is that he has this, like I said, this inspiration just sitting right in front of him all the time, that he can make books out of it. So I feel like that's a huge part of his writing, and then he just puts that into a story and he releases it out into the world which I think is amazing and my camera is actually about to die so let's get through this review <laughs> um, but I'm not gonna spoil anything for you guys like I said I'm just explaining what it's kind of about and it's really just it's crazy because towards the end I did not think this was gonna happen so it's definitely one of those books that catches you towards the end which is it has a good hook on it um but overall i think it's a great new story new middle grade i think is what it's called um for younger adults younger children to be reading because i know that his books have been getting a lot more attention recently because um they're not hard to read they're very easy to inverse yourself into them so I really think that um, even if you're my age or older, these are definitely, um, his books are definitely for all ages. I mean, I made a review already that I love his Serafina series, which is really good. Um, so I mean, I really like this one as well because it's just, you know, you don't have to be his younger audience to read these. I definitely think anyone could read them. Um, and. Just throughout the story we learn more about nature and living on your own and having that confidence of not having, you know, all the tools and necessities that people usually need to survive. You know, you can literally just go out and survive in the forest by yourself, you know, if you know the nature of it. Um, so I mean, it's a great story that really influences people, I think. Um, I, I mean, I bet, you know, you know, younger audience wouldn't really see what I see the message to be, but I feel like it definitely thinks, you know, gives me a new perspective on nature completely. Um, so I really enjoyed this book and I really hope you guys pick it up and decide your own review <laughs> because I definitely enjoyed it. It's a great story so I hope you guys enjoy it as well and I hope you guys enjoy Robert Beatty and his other Serafina series and I can't wait to see his other works in the making if there are more and I will see you in the next video.